Okay, this is part two of, yeah, I'll say part two of my, uh, video of lost film, films from the, you know, motion pictures that have been lost forever and probably, probably would never be seen again. Uh, you know, most of them, like I said, are from before the early talkies era, you know, black and white silent era, but there was, was really no commercial values. They, they was just. Lots of times they just use it for storage space. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I meant to say a lot of, uh, you know, Hollywood producers, directors, and the main director of, you know, Universal Studios, for, ex for example. <laughs> and Warner Brothers like that, uh, they would uh, use um, some of the old films for uh, storage space because there was really no commercial value. Which sucks for people who really wanna wanted to see those films or they they had they they had a I'm sorry or they couldn't uh you know that sorry I just can't say that word right now um let me try to put it in another way uh they couldn't uh. It's hard for me to do this video without my without my brain stopping. But what I'm trying to say is like a lot of silent films from you. You know, I mean, I mean, silent lost films. They just couldn't. Um, I guess uh, people didn't want to. I guess the filmmakers just uh, just didn't want to. Just they, they just didn't think it was a good films, and they thought, nah, let's just not show it ever again or something. That's not really what I wanted to say, but I just couldn't say that word right now. Uh, starts with a D. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna read some of you. Uh, some of the films that. Uh, well, I'm not. It's not the list. I was about to read the list of lost films, which I have. But I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna tell you some of the facts or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll just tell you some of the facts of lost films, like several, several films by Kenneth Anger from across his career have been lost for a variety of reasons. Uh, Ed Wood's 1972 film, The uh, Undergraduate, the under, uh, under has been lost. Wood's 1971 film, I can't pronounce this very good, Nurkamana, was believed the, to be lost for years until an edited version resurfaced at a yard sale in 1992. They finally found this film in a yard sale. That's the only way you're going to find a lost film from uh, people who know someone in Hollywood or an ancestor or whatever, you know. Followed by a complete unedited print in 2001. A complete print of the previ previously lost wood pornographic film. Yes, he, uh, the, the, Edward, who directed Plan 9 from Outer Space, and Glenn or Glenda did pornographics when his uh, career was going downhill, I, I think. Film The Young Marys was discovered in 2004. I gotta see that film. Mm -hmm. An adult film by Edward. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I'm not joking either. <laughs> his 1970 film, Take It Down in Trade, was sought to exist only in. Fragments without sound released on home video as "Take It Out and Trade." The outtakes in 1995, until the release of a scanned 60 milligram meter theatrical print on Blu-ray in 2018. Tom uh, Graff's first feature film, *The Noble Experiment*, 19, from 1955, yeah, in which director writer Graff plays a misunderstood genius scientist, was considered lost until found by Ellie uh, Snyder during the production of a documentary about Graves entitled The Boy From Out of This World. Most of Annie Milligan's early films are considered lost. Many shot sponsored films made for education, training, or religious purposes from the 1940s through the 1970s are also lost as they were as they were Sort of as a dispos dispossible or ungradable. Sorry, uh, I'm back. Some of Jackie Chan and uh, 
Samuel Hung's first row included Big and Little Wong. Ken Bar was considered lost until a 2016 discovery and released. The, the first three films of noted Finnish melodrama actor and director. I can't pronounce his uh, name. Uh, I'll spell it out for you. T E U V O T U L I O were uh, lost along with sev several other films that were of interest. As at least for historic historics of Finnish cinema, when the film uh, when the film depository of the company, Adams Filmy or Filmy, I can't pronounce his name, burned down in uh, Helsinki in nineteen fifty nine, and I apologize if I'm, if I'm not. Saying the countries or cities right, I'm sorry. Sometimes early certain aspects of it, aspects. Let me start over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I just had to get this right. You know how I am. Sometimes or only certain aspects of films may be lost. Early color films such as Lucine. Hubbard's The Mysterious Island, and John G's Adolf's John G. All those, all those, his. I sorry, I can't pronounce his last name. These are for people. These are people from other countries, so you know. The show of show, the show of shows, exit only, partly or not at all in color because the copies that were made of the film that exist were created on black and white stock. See list of early color feature films. I'm not going to show you the list right now. I'm just telling you some of these facts. Here's the last fact. Two or three uh, dimensional films from 1954. Top Banana. That's what it's called. Top Banana and Southwest Passage. Exist only in their flat form. Because of only one print made for either the left or the right. I ex exists. And you know, like I said, we'll probably never see these films either from the 50s, you know, and so on. Even, you know, most American films in the 90s are lost and, you know, you know how it is. I just love telling you these facts, even though, even though if you're watching this video, you're not interested. I just love doing these videos anyway. But I'll be continuing my, uh, Thoughts on lost films from those eras and th this era, and you know, I'm sorry. Anyway, please subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Just subscribe. I need more subscribers, please. Even though I talk like a moron, I just can't help it. I just need some more subscribers. Anyway, I'm about to end this video. Peace.